Hi, I'm Mike, and I hope you'll join me at SIGGRAPH 2017 in Los Angeles at the VR Village for a rather unusual real-time experience. Okay, so I'm in the ICT light stage, and there are about 14,000 LEDs in here, which is, you know, quite a lot. Luckily, they're not all one. Next, I got you looking down. Phone name is Lucky. Mm -hmm. Is that his mother? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Three, two, one, go. We're here at ICT. Uh, we are doing another scan of a, a new subject. Uh, Mike Seymour is here and has volunteered to be our subject. So it's really an ability for us to try new things and to look at new ways of scanning people and seeing what we can do with that, the new set of data that we're gonna get out of this. I'm really excited about this. This is, I mean, we can use this data now and we can see stuff, I think, that just one day of shooting is going to be years worth of material for us to use. Uh, and we'll be able to, the fact that we can share it now with everyone as well, is huge for, for, for the cause of what we're doing with Wikipedia. So, yes, I'm really excited about that. So just to be absolutely clear about that, that's non-commercial use, that excludes use of me in pornography. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Mike. Well, kind of virtual Mike, really. Uh, what you're looking at is uh, obviously a 3D virtual human. And it's produced by having a really detailed scan done of my face, which then gets turned into a very sophisticated 3D model and driven by a really powerful rig. It's actually rendered in real time, completely live. Not only that, but we can actually drive it if we want in real time. In other words, I can sit down, put on a head-mounted camera setup, and that will read the expressions off my face and in real time produce 3D animation that we see before us. It's a remarkable collaboration of a whole lot of researchers and companies from all over the world coming together to see what we can kind of do in terms of virtual humans. Now let yeah. me ask you this, how am I looking to you in terms of, do you, I mean, you know me very well, right? Like, does it look like me? Does it feel like me? How is it unsettling? I would say that both of us have got better hair than we have in reality. <laughs> okay, well, I have 440,000 triangles and I managed to devote 75% of them to my hair. Now, if, if, Lena, I want to have a look at your, your eyes. Is it, I think, actually, look at that, that's fantastic. We can yeah, actually that, do that bigger is, eyes for the audience. Awesome. Yeah. Can uh, I get, here we go, there are my big eyes, my eyebrows. No, it actually, I'm, I'm, I think, uh, especially the virtual reality experience of this, which is hard for the people watching the monitors to tell, is, is I think it works pretty well. So, so I think it's, I think this is a, you know, essentially a successful proof of this type of interaction, which you know we both know will be everywhere in the future. This is just fantastic what you're doing here. Yeah, Mike. After this experience, you know, um, chatting with you in reality is going to be a bit dull. My friend, um, I'm going to force you to uh, wind up now, but do you want to wave to the audience? People are going to take a photo of us. It's selfie time. Right, thank you right. so much, Hang guys. On a Let's do that again. And thank you, guys. And Sid Graf, <laughs> so much for being here. This is our last uh, presentation, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. And goodbye. Thank you, Mike. Fantastic.